Hi Virgo, Thank welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode 18 and 19 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see what the messages are for you. Okay, let's see what the messages are. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please. Let's see. Virgo. Okay, we have the two of wands. We have the two of swords, a lot of twos, and we have the three of swords. Okay, so we could be dealing with the Libra. We have second and third deacon of Libra. Could be double Libra. You have Libra in your chart. We well, here's your card underneath the deck. So I'm getting your focused. Or you're at work. Now, this is a I'm getting this is a work situation, and I'm getting there is a fire sign or there is an air sign involved. Now, this could be your energy too, Virgo, because it is that Mercury energy. You are Mercury ruled. All right, so let's see what this is. But I'm getting it's about work or someone that you work with. All right, let's see. What is the two of wands? But well, we have 22. Now you could be dealing with somebody with a 22 life path. Okay, but this is you're really trying to make you're you're trying to co you're trying to be a team player. You're trying to cooperate. Two, two is about cooperation. All right, you're trying to understand. You're trying to get to the bottom of something. What's the two of wands? Two of wands. Okay, the five of swords, the ten of swords. And then the seven of swords. Yeah, so it looks like it looks like you may have found something out and you stopped talking to someone. You found out that somebody was lying to you. And we do have the Empress and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so I'm getting I'm getting you found you found out that um this air sign has been lying to you, and you actually have an opportunity to be to, to do something new. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting somebody, there's somebody that who's going to treat you better. It could be in another earth sign like yourself, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I'm getting this person is the one. The uh, Ace of Pentacles is your north node. It's the dragon's, it is the dragon's head. So this, this could be somebody with a north node in Taurus, okay? Because the Six of Pentacles, that is Taurus, okay? Yeah, I'm, so I'm getting, there, I'm getting there's something better for you out there. This, this person you're dealing with now, this person is lying to you. Or I'm getting too like somebody is very indecisive. I'm getting too like somebody somebody goes without speaking to you maybe for maybe for hours or days or weeks. Somebody gives you the silent treatment. Somebody is a stalemate. Somebody can't make up their mind what they want. All right, I'm getting too like somebody hurts your feelings because they lie to you. They cheat. They don't. They don't. They they're, they don't give a hundred percent in the relationship. And you want something new. You want to be treated better. You want new love. Okay, you want something that's on, honest and genuine. Something that's more grounded. Because I'm getting a lot of thoughts here. I'm getting somebody has you all up in your head about something and you don't like that. Okay, what's the what is the ten, what is the five of swords? What is the five of swords? But I'm getting it's very it's malicious. It's almost like somebody is trying to get you to it's like somebody's trying to dig up because this part is like peeling back the onions, peeling back the layers. Somebody somebody's trying to push your buttons on purpose or get you to react or it's like it's like somebody's trying to get to know you, but it's a, in a very malicious way or somebody's lying to you. Okay, let's see. What I, but what I'm getting here is like hurt people hurt people. All right, so maybe somebody has somebody got their heart broken and now they're trying to break your heart. All right, somebody is just treating you very maliciously just because they, they're heartbroken. They're just being mean to you because they're sad. What's the five of swords? What's the five of swords, please? But I'm getting too like somebody hides their broken heart. Somebody hides hides it when their feelings are hurt. So instead of instead of talking about their feelings right then and there, saying, "Hey, I didn't like what you said. That kind of hurt my feelings." They just they kind of they kind of do it in this more passive aggressive way where they they they're very spiteful and they they give you the silent treatment and they don't they they feel like they don't want to make decisions. They don't want to talk to you. They make you feel confused. That they make you second guess yourself. So I'm getting I'm getting somebody is very immature. All right, somebody does not know how to express like, you know, when they're hurt or when they're when they have their ego hurt or when they're feeling sad or lonely or whatever. Someone someone does not have, know how to express when they miss you either. Like, hey, I miss you. It's like they don't know how to say that. So they they just they're very passive aggressive about it. They I'm getting someone somebody who's very spiteful and very petty. Like, this is this is somebody who will like if you hurt their feelings, they won't say, "Hey, you hurt me." They'll just do something back to you to hurt your feelings. And you're like, "Damn, what did I do to deserve that?" But it's like, here's how they're feeling, but they're not going to tell you that. 
They just, they just do something spiteful to get back at you. Instead of just saying, hey, that hurt, I didn't like what you said, that comment was hurtful. It could be somebody that you work with or work around. Yeah, a lot of arguing. There's a lot of petty arguments with you and this person. I'm getting, I'm getting like somebody just kind of starts shit with you because they want to fight. It could, it's like somebody is bothering you at work. But it's almost like it's, it's on purpose. Like somebody wants to hurt your feelings. Somebody wants to make you mad. It's like somebody wants a war. Somebody wants a fight. Okay, what's the five of swords, please? What is the five of swords? Five of swords. I'm also getting two, like you kind of, you bite your tongue. You can't really speak your mind because you know that somebody is malicious. Somebody's spiteful. They do spiteful things. So you, you, can't, you can't really say, hey, I'm hurt by that. Or, hey, I don't like that one. So when your feelings get hurt, you can't, express, you can't express those hurt feelings. You have to keep those hurt feelings a secret because you know that somebody's going to do something spiteful, spiteful towards you. All right, it's almost like you kind of have to sit here and contemplate and think about how you're going to say, like, hey, that hurt my feelings. Because I'm getting somebody that doesn't really care about your feelings. They only care about their feelings. Okay, so even if you say, hey, that hurt my feelings, they'll say, well, what do you mean that hurt your feelings? And they'll, they'll, actually, start, they'll actually start a fight with you instead of, like, trying to fix it or, or apologizing. All right, so I'm, I'm getting you dealing with somebody who's very petty and somebody who's very immature. All right, what's the Five of Swords energy? But I'm getting there is something better for you out there. I, just saw, I saw the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so there is, I'm getting there's an Earth sign. Who's a better match for you? This person will treat you better. Okay, what's the five of swords? Yeah, we have the, okay, yeah, we have the queen of pentacles. It came out in the reverse. So here's your card, Virgo, in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody has you all types of up. Somebody is not nurturing. They're not caring. Somebody's very selfish, very vain, very all about themselves. They only think about themselves and what, and what, what helps them, what nurtures them. They do not think about your feelings at all. Okay, what's the seven of swords? I'm getting to this person is not nurturing, period. They don't nurture you. They don't know how. They don't care. What's the, what's the, what's the seven of swords, please? The seven of swords. What is the seven of swords? I'm getting to like somebody is also rude to their mother. Somebody, somebody treats their mother rude. Okay, what's the seven of swords? Or this could be somebody too who does not have a mother. Or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that. What's the Seven of Swords? It's like somebody doesn't have any home training. Seven of Swords. Like they don't know how to treat people. Yeah, the hangman. It's like you're seeing you're seeing somebody with new eyes. You're seeing somebody for their true color. Somebody's a liar. They're very, they're very, very petty. They're very spiteful, very vindictive. They're very passive aggressive. I'm getting to they go through your phone. They go through your they go through your things without your permission. They invade your privacy. They hurt your feelings and you can't even you can't even say, hey, my feelings are hurt or they might get, even get offended by that. All right. What's the three of swords? So I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting you're kind of dealing with a, like a, I don't know. What's the three of swords? You're dealing with a narcissist I'm getting. Three of swords, please. So I'm getting, I'm getting you are seeing somebody as a narcissist now. Somebody is very selfish and all about them. Very self-serving. They're very passive aggressive. All right. They don't allow you to express when your feelings are hurt. They make, they even make you, they probably even make you feel guilty about having hurt feelings. What's the three of swords? Yeah, the moon card. You have to, yeah. But I'm, I'm also getting, like I said, hurt people hurt people. So they're suffering from a broken heart. So they want to break your heart. And we have the ace of cups. Yeah, and here's that fighting again. There's, I'm, I'm getting all you do with this person is fight and bicker and argue. I'm getting somebody, somebody is a nagging bitch. Okay, what's the, what's the moon card? What is the moon? What is the moon card, please? I'm getting to somebody is a bad housekeeper. Somebody's sloppy. This person does not take care of themselves. They're not healthy. They don't eat right. Okay, maybe that's important to you. All right, somebody could be extremely overweight. What's the moon card as well? What's the moon? Or this is, are you, so you think so? All right, yeah, we have, so I'm getting us a Virgo. It could be a Virgo that, but this is also your energy too. It could be another Virgo. All right, so it's almost like you have to hide or you have to avoid conversations because it's like this person, they won't open up or they, they just don't care. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there for you. We do have the Nine of Swords showing up. So I'm getting, this is, a, this is a situation where you're constantly worried and scared and you're nervous and you don't know what to expect. And somebody, it's, it's, like, you're, it's like you're living in a cave with an evil person. All right, I don't know what this is. This is a very 
weird reading. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.